I do, what do you want? Can you tell me your name and what you just made? Hi, I'm Jason. I made a redstone computer in Minecraft. Okay, cool. <laughs> do I type something yeah. now? Yeah, would you? Uh, yeah. It's not like a normal keyboard. It's structured differently. I can press this button and go over to the other computer. There. That's awesome. And then can you show me kind of some of your delays that you factored yeah. in too? And okay, so these command blocks basically, depending on which command block they are, well, they'll always clone whatever it is back to here but they're going to select a certain letter. They all have the same X and Y position. So it goes from the bottom of here to here, so it knows what to clone, but then the Z position is different. It's subtracted by three for every letter lower, so it, it's just can kind of just for some basic order. And so this is the last letter that was typed in, so that's still there. And you see we have three letters, so there's three counters up, so there's three letters up there so then the next time the fourth one can be signaled right after they clone this to the back of there and after that's signaled it will clone uh whatever this one say will like clone whatever's behind there up there kind of like how that first one clones that up there so yeah and we also had have some other things such as this so it will clear the counter so this clear button, these two command blocks, they'll clear everything on our send screen and everything behind there, like we said before. And so then it will clear this, which will clear the counter by turning this off uh, because otherwise it's always on. And this is a signal shortener. So uh, it'll, whenever the button's pressed, it'll travel through here. It'll actually travel through there after operating the command to clone that behind there. And then it'll run this and it will go down here through the sh circuit shortener. It will shorten how long the button's on for because uh, it will take like a fraction of a second to disactivate this torch. So then the redstone signal can travel through here and then behind here so it can activate the pistons. And once those are activated, the redstone signal actually travels through there and down there to keep them on then activates this, so then after that's cloned be behind there, it'll determine its spot. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Chase, how long do you think that you took to build this? Five hours. Yeah, and then did you feel like you were using then different parts of code when you were figuring this out? Or you had to yeah. build each of those individual letters? Uh, I had to build each of those individual letters, and um, yeah, this is a lot of different coding. I have like notes and stuff for each different 